Um, I'm going to read a passage that deals with the uh, uh, Attorney General's uh, attitudes towards the 47% and also Medicare Part D. Um, Citizens will vote for those politicians who promise more benefits each year, rather than fiscally responsible politicians who try to point out that such programs are unsustainable and will eventually bankrupt the states or the nation. Creating government dependency is the typical method of operation for big government states. By gov by sometime, but sometimes even small government conservatives can stray from their principles and fall into this way of legislating. We don't have to go far to find examples of conservatives going astray. One such example was the creation of a subsidized prescription drug program for senior citizens called Medicare Part D. It was the largest entitlement program for 40 years, and it was created under Republican President George W. Bush and passed by a Republican-controlled House and Republican-controlled Senate in 2003. While there may have been some good intentions involved, this was George W. Bush using taxpayer dollars to buy seniors' votes for his 2004 re-election campaign, pure and simple. And the Republicans in Congress generally went right along with it. So saith Ken Kuchnow. Come on. Come on. The idea that Medicare should include pre prescription drug co coverage is not controversial. It's a bipartisan agreement because it makes more sense to offer coverage for prescriptions in the early going than it does to pay for surgeries later on. Cuccinelli's view also that President George W. Bush was a radical sellout to the liberal agenda tells you all you need to know about his own extreme worldview and ideology. Thank you.